It is time for Peggy's from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back people to a new video. And in today's video we are going to talk about Retro FC 168 in 1. Yes, we have another handheld. They are addicted of making these things because they are still popping up. There are so many handhelds. Check my full playlist. I did almost all handhelds a review about and a quick look and unboxing. And today we're going to talk about Retro FC. Uh, this is one of a series. We got the Mini Retro and the Eros 97. Did I say this correctly? 97? 79? Yeah, 79. And um, we're going to do a little bit of unboxing because I'm really curious what are we going to get. We had a Big Boy clone and this is nothing like it. And this is, I think, a custom made thing. It got, comes, of course, with the system itself. Toilet paper, USB cable for recharging, and there is no way of adding new games. You're stuck with the six, yeah, 168 games on it. And this one got an EV out, so that's pretty damn awesome and special because most cheap ass system doesn't have an EV out anymore. So let's take a close look at the system. What's the first thing I'm noticing? Uh, this is quite heavy, and there is a battery inside. This is, by the way, an old Nokia battery. Very funny. So you, if you get it broken, you can just order it for a few dollars. So that is really awesome. And buy a spare one. T-pad hmm. feels very nice this time. Reset button. So let's power it on. Hmm. Same mighty final fight song. Here's the volume. It goes pretty damn loud. All right. And at the top we find the power, the TV out, and yeah, the power button and the USB for charging it up. So let's take a closer look for what kind of games do we have. All right, the first thing that I'm noticing, um, there are a lot of good games on it. Mario Bros. 2 and 3 and World. So there are some homebrew games on it, of course. There are always homebrew games on these things. But if I look at the list, and overall, there are some pretty damn awesome games on it. A lot of homebrew games. Really a lot of them. Some One Piece is also a really nice game. Alright. Let's do a little quick scroll through. So you know what kind of games are on it. So yeah, a lot of homebrew games and some good games. Let's do some gameplay. Is this the original or the hacked version? Ah, it's the original version. The game seems to run very smooth. The sound uh, sounds normal, or the effects and the soundtracks. Hmm. Of course, I need to try out the homebrew game. What is this? <laughs> what is this? And let's try the original Mario this time. Hmm. The D-pad is responding very good. Uh, that is mostly the problem with these things, that the D-pad is pretty damn horrible. Some special guys just great. For the final conclusion. Yeah, the Retro FC 168 in 1. I really love it. The D-pad is way better than the smaller version or the BitBoy clone. Uh, the bottom response is very nice. The emulation is way better. The screen is bigger and better. And um, yeah, they fixed all of the small problems. Even the sounds. Yeah, the music effects are 
better than the old version. It got a nice loudspeaker inside. And um, in this case, I think this is one of the best cheap ass handhelds that are out there. There's no way of swapping your game, so keep that one in mind. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm very pleased for what you're going to get for the money. I hope you have a better idea for what you're going to get with this system. I want to thank you for watching my video. And um, if you have any question, just drop it in the comments and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. And uh, see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay strong, stay positive, and stay wicked. And game on. Bye bye. Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.